I have decided to do a short vlog on Shelley Beach this week. Um, this is the point just up from Kings Beach, in between Kings Beach and Shelley Beach. Uh, this is the Remembrance Walk, all the fallen soldiers, the plaques on the concrete. You'll see these huge Norfolk Island pines everywhere along the coastline. In the early days when the settlers first came here, they planted all these pines along the coast so that if the ship mast broke, they could come ashore and cut a new one and off they'd go on their journey. This is an awesome vantage point here at the right time of the year when the season's right. You can actually, if you're lucky, spot whales going past here. There's also barbecues and picnic tables at this spot. Incidentally, all barbecues along the Sunshine Coast are electric and they are free. It's just a short walk north and we arrive at Shelley Beach. Shelley Beach does have a small beach just north of these rocks. It's mostly rock here at Shelley Beach, uh, but then it goes on to Moffat Beach and it just keeps going further up the Sunshine Coast. Shelly Beach is called Shelly Beach because of the large quantity of ground shells that is on this beach. Uh, looking across Shelly Beach to Moffat Point, on the other side of Moffat Point is Moffat Beach and in the far distance background it is Point Cartwright up near Malulabar Beach. Every time I've been here there is amazing cool breeze coming off the ocean on a hot summer's afternoon it is just fantastic. There is ample barbecues and a toilet amenity block here. There's a great place for a barbecue with the family as well. Every time I come here, I feel revitalized. It's like you draw energy from the ocean. It is an amazing spot. One thing about Queensland on the Sunshine Coast, there is scrub turkeys everywhere, even on the beach.
Next week I'm starting a series of vlogs on the Glasshouse Mountains. Well, that's it for the beaches so far on the southern end of the Sunshine Coast. So looking forward to having you with us for the series on the Glasshouse Mountains. If you enjoy the videos and you get any great content from it, if it helps you in your travels, then we are very, very glad. Please like and subscribe. You see here the coarseness of the sand, mainly comprising ground seashells. I hope you've enjoyed this short vlog and look forward to having you with us next week for the Glasshouse Mountain series. And thank you so much for watching.